Hello, my name is Justin DeVore and I'm a Senior Technical Specialist here with ATG. I'm going to show you how to set up a shared coordinate system in Revit and Civil 3D. Now before I can set up a shared coordinate system, I'm going to need to make sure that I have the correct extensions installed. A couple ways to be able to do that is go ahead and open up your Autodesk desktop application and then you can search for Revit and then inside we're looking for shared coordinate systems. I already have mine installed so I won't see this on here. Another way we can do this is by going to our manage.autodesk.com account, go and sign in, and then we're going to go to all products and services. Okay. We can narrow the search down by Revit, and in Revit we just pick our uh, version we want, say this is 2023, and before we hit install we're going to want to go to view details, and then there's updates available as well as the full Thing in here, we're looking for extensions. Okay, you're going to select extensions here, and then if we go scroll down, we will see there's shared reference point for Autodesk Revit 23. So I can download this and install it. Okay. Once I install this, this will add an add in to Revit as well as add an additional uh, area to Civil 3D. Uh, so we don't need to find one for Civil 3D. All we have to do is download this this version. So find the version of Revit you're using. Go ahead and download that one. This will go ahead and set that up. Okay. I already have mine installed for uh, Revit 22 and Civil 3D 2022. Okay. So first thing we're going to do is switch over to Civil 3D. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and modify my surface here. And I'm just going to go and look at uh, contours for now. Okay. All right. So say we have our Revit file that we want to go and line up in Civil 3D. I can make a polyline just for an example on here. Maybe I want it oriented this way. Okay. One of the walls oriented this way. If I go ahead and do a quick surface label on here, I can go and see the elevation. Maybe we'll go ahead and put this line at an elevation on here. So I'll just go ahead and just average that out or round it off to be 93. Okay. The key here is make sure that that line is the same elevation. So we don't want to use a feature line or a 3D poly line um, that, isn't, that isn't there for the reference point. Okay. So you can put that on a layer for Revit coordination if you want. Okay. The key here is to have a consistent elevation. Okay. All right, so now we're going to go ahead and set that up here within the tool space. After you've downloaded that and installed that extension, we'll see here within the subscription manager, subscription extension manager, go and expand that out. Then there's the Autodesk shared reference point. And then in here, we will see the export shared reference points. Okay. All we have to do is right click on that and hit execute. Down on the command line, it's saying select origin point. I'm just going to use my endpoint O snap here. Okay. And now it's asking for a Y axis, right? A quasi north in here. So I'm just going to go and select the other end of that endpoint. Okay. So that's how I want my building to come in at this origin point, and I want it to be able to rotate along a specific wall on that location. Okay. So we see that we have an X, a Y, and a Z. Okay, also with the rotation in place. Now the default is always going to be to meters, so we don't have to worry about that, worry that we did not set up our drawing correctly. Okay, like I said, it just defaults to meters. So I'm going to set this to feet. Go ahead and hit OK. Now it's going to ask for a Revit shared coordinate system. I'm going to go ahead and put this into a location. I'll just go and save over the one that I made before. All right, so now that's ready to go. Let's create an XML file in there, and now we can switch back over to Revit. Okay. So in Revit, up on the tab, let's go to the Add-ins tab. Okay. And then after we have that installed, we'll see an import shared coordinates from XML file. We will go and select that. And now it's asking us select origin point to align to. So maybe I want the bottom corner of this building here. Okay. 
and then it's asking for that same Y direction to align to. We'll go and select the other building corner along here. And now it's going to ask which XML file to refer to. So I'm going to go and select that XML that we just made. Okay. Are you sure you want to go ahead and do that? We'll hit yes. And now we have success. Go ahead and hit OK. All right, so now we brought that in. The next thing we want to do is go ahead and set the location within Revit. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and go to the Manage tab up on the ribbon. Underneath the Project Location panel, we're going to go ahead and select the Location. Okay, we're going to go ahead and switch to the Site tab, and then on here we have the My Shared Reference Point on here. I can go and select to make that current. Okay, we see that's current, and notice that this angle projected north just updated and changed. Okay. If we hit OK, also notice that my view cube also updated as well. My north changed locations on here. Okay, so this project is ready to go. Okay, and we've established the shared coordinate system. Okay, now. What if we want to send things back and forth? If I want to send my Civil 3D drawing into Revit, or if I need to send my Revit uh, drawing into Civil 3D. Okay. So to do that, and we'll start here in Revit. Since we're already here, we're going to go to, up to File, go down to Export, and we'll just go and do a CAD export, a DWG. Okay. All right, we'll go ahead and hit the Ellipses button. We'll switch to the Units and Coordination tab, and we'll go ahead and make sure it, the default was on Original Origin. We're going to go ahead and select the Shared Coordinates. Okay. Go ahead and hit OK. All right, we're just going to go ahead and do this one, so let's go ahead and hit the Next button. Okay. I'm just going to go and save over the one I made. Go ahead and hit OK, replacing that. There we go. Okay, so this has been exported out to a DWG format. Now with this being DWG format, I can switch back to Civil 3D, go to my XREF manager, attach the new drawing. So we have that new drawing, go ahead and hit open. Now with the shared coordinate system in here, I shouldn't have to select the insertion point or rotate it. Okay. Just going to leave this as is. I'm going to do overlay and hit OK. Okay, we see that that's imported. Let's go and take a look. Perfect. Okay, so our drawing is lined up in here. Okay, we see that XREF ready to go. Okay, now that we brought Revit into Civil 3D, let's go and bring Civil 3D objects back into Revit. Okay, so if I want to zoom out here, I can send over the surface. Maybe they want the road, uh, things like that to be able to be in the Revit project. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and switch over to the Output tab in Civil 3D. And then we're going to go ahead and do Export Civil 3D Drawing. Okay. Export Settings. We can go ahead and take a look at this. The version. I can go and change the version if I need it. Okay. And export type, I could do an AutoCAD DWG or also send it to MicroStation. Okay. We'll go and leave these as is. We'll go and do the current drawing. And then I see my destination folder is going to go into my Revit shared coordinates for my demo here. Okay. We can also update and change the prefix and suffix on here. So this is going to be ACAD dash and, and the drawing. So we have these in here. I can go and see that this model space or this surface 4C drawing is going to get exported. Okay, so let's go ahead and hit export. Okay, one file exported. We can hit OK and close out of this. Now we can go back into Revit. Okay, go back into here. Now we can go to our insert tab up in Revit. And then we can do link a CAD file. Okay, link a CAD file. Okay, there's that a CAD one we just made. Okay, and then positioning on here. 
Okay, so on here, we're going to want to make sure that we select by shared coordinates. Okay, if we do the original origin or center to center, that's not going to line up. We want this to go and do that shared coordinates that we created. So we'll select that. Okay. Everything else in here looks good. Okay. And go ahead and hit open. I'm going to go ahead and just accept the warning there. And then now we can see uh, the Civil 3D attachment at the elevation on here. Okay, So remember, move this one up, or that line in here was at 93 feet elevation. So we see that on there. Okay, All right, so that's how to set up a uh, shared coordinate system in Revit in Civil 3D. Hey there, thanks for tuning in. If you like this video, make sure to subscribe and check out some of the other content on our channel.